it's way up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine from the Jasmine brand is here. And Numeno yeah. Yeah. is in the building. And we're talking about basketball wives, okay. um, the reunion. Now, why are you smiling like that, Mano? <laughs> what? I'm always smiling. Numeno. Uh, Mano, you like uh, the show Basketball Wives? I haven't watched it in years, but yeah, I'm... Okay. It was cool. I said, Mano's just happy to be out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, woke Bless. up. Yeah, That's right. it's a blessing. It's a blessing. All right, well, one of the things that happened during the reunion that everybody was talking about, and we talked about it up here, was Jackie, Chrissy, and Brooke Bailey got into it because Brooke Bailey, her daughter died in a car accident. She was only 25 years old, and she felt like Jackie was not supportive at that time. Here's what originally happened during the reunion. When my daughter passed away, you didn't even send a one flower. You didn't, you've been in LA, you didn't knock on my door to give me a hug or just to sit next to me quietly. You mm-hmm. showed absolutely no support. First of all, I didn't know what to say. And I am so Most sorry. Most people don't. I knew that it would be a touchy situation when I saw you again. I sat and I cried for hours. I have two daughters. I didn't call you, but it hurt my heart that this happened to you. You have been through with your husband. I sat in your house and I talked to you for hours. So don't sit here telling me I'm not a friend. Because that's a lie. What me and my husband went through has nothing to do with the death of my daughter. And it's in no comparison whatsoever. I didn't know what to say. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm. I think all you can say now is I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sending my condolences. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry that I should have stepped I should have stepped up. Yeah. All right. So they've taken to social media mm-hmm. to explain and provide some clarity on what happened. Now, Brooke said on Twitter, and to be clear, Jackie Christie sent me a very generic text days after my daughter passed. But the friendship that I thought we developed behind the scenes, I expected so much more from her. She knows this. We also discussed it at the reunion. Uh, Jackie Christie responded, really hope everyone stops spreading lies and hate about such a sensitive topic. I'm truly disappointed the narrative is being spun in such a way to insinuate or say I did not call her. On the very morning, we all found out. As I said at the reunion, I spoke to Tyler and sent my love, prayers, and condolences. Here's what else Brooke had to say in response. So when my daughter passed away, her sending me a generic text, you know, maybe it was wrong for me to expect more from her, but I definitely did, you know, when you consider someone your friend, you expect certain things. And um, I know what I would have done for her if she was in that situation or how I would have been there for her. And it's not about her buying me a flower or flowers or doing anything other than being there for me. And if that was me expecting too much, then that's just what I did. And that's my fault for expecting more than what she was able to provide. And then Jackie Christie went and posted the text messages to prove that she did text her. Right. And reach out. Okay. It is a sensitive topic. It It really is. Yeah. It's crazy that it has to be addressed in this way. Because what's the really right way to to show your concern? There is not one way. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there isn't one way. Yeah, she did text her. Yeah. But I guess you feel like if you're really good friends with somebody, they would do more. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and that's what she was saying. She expected more. But Mm -hmm. I I appreciate them kind of giving clarity to, you know, both sides because it played out on reunion, so... Okay. All right. Now, um, here's another Instagram post that happened. One of the members from B5. You remember the group B5? They were signed to to Bad Boy. Here's a a snippet of the song, Say Yes. Well, anyway, 11 million people people have seen the video on YouTube. Okay. But, um, All right. But Justin Michael, who is one of the members of B5, uh, recently did a post, and uh, it's following the unfortunate murder of Rashida Williams, a.k.a. Coco the Doll. He said he wanted to make his uh, relationship that he has public. He's dating a film director, D. Smith, and he wanted to advocate for his girlfriend. Here's what he had to say. My girlfriend, she is transgender. Her name is D. Smith. Well, I don't want to be one of those men benefiting from like a trans woman in private and you know not celebrate her publicly so I feel like it's time for you know just men in general to basically step up and just own who we are. All right, and uh, D. Smith reposted the video and said, I'm so proud of you. We've known each other for almost 10 years now, and every moment with you was always validating. So many men only dream of being as brave as you are. Thank you for being the example of a human, just loving a human. I'm so grateful for your heart, ambition, and spirit. I love you. 
I love that. Yeah, it's yeah. so that they can publicly yeah. celebrate and love each other. Yeah. I mean, if they're doing it in private, I mean, it's you know, who wants to only be loved in private, you know? Right. You want you want people to let everybody know that they're with you? That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you want somebody to profess their love I mean, they've been together 10 you? years, though. 10 years? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Well, good for them. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, that is your Yeetie. When we come back, we have Under the Radar stories that are not necessarily headline news stories, but I feel like today we got to do a headline news story. Mm. I mean, okay. Donald Trump was all over the news. <laughs> all over the news.